Hello and welcome to this presentation about how to get started with peering. In this presentation, I'll start at the very beginning. I assume you've heard about peering and want to learn more. I am Coit Kinsella and this is a DKIX Academy presentation. Just imagine, you're a hosting provider. You host a couple of servers on which you host your customer websites. You usually only have one lifeline to the internet, which is your upstream provider. And, of course, you get your IP addresses from your upstream. So basically, you're hanging onto the internet on a single thread. With only one lifeline to the internet, you have no redundancy. And with the IP address you are using also coming from that upstream provider, it means that you are locked into that upstream provider. Price negotiations are difficult, because your upstream knows the position you're in. And if you do want to change your upstream, it's a nightmare because you have to renumber every device with a public IP address. But there is hope. You can become redundantly connected. What about getting a second upstream? And if you have to get independent IP addresses and so on, it is only a little more work to add peering to your network setup. Adding a second upstream and peering means you have full redundancy and control over your routing. With mainly outgoing traffic, it is always easier to steer your traffic to either one of your upstreams or to peering, which gives you and your customers the best quality. Yes, it means you have to invest. You'll have to invest time and money. But it is an investment in your future, a better future. It also needs very careful planning. Every minute you spend on planning might reduce the effort of implementation by hours. Now, let me show you what that could look like. This is your setup. You're hosting a few web servers, seen here on the right. They are connected to one or more switches. You have a firewall and you have a router. And you have your connection to the internet via your upstream provider. Now the first thing to do is to duplicate your network infrastructure. Next, add a second redundant firewall, add a second router, and make sure your switching infrastructure is redundant. What exactly and how you duplicate depends of course on your setup. Not everything shown here might be necessary. But if you do duplicate, make sure you don't put the second device into the same rack. Make sure that your physical setup supports your device redundancy. Now, add a second upstream provider into the mix. With two routers, you now have one upstream on each router. If one of your routers should fail, the second one is still there. Also, if one of your upstreams has a problem, you are still reachable, as you now have two routers anyway. You also need to run VGP now and have your own IP address space. I'll come back to that one later. So now it's very, very easy to also add peering at an internet exchange. Simply connect the internet exchange to your external routers. For redundancy, it's best to connect at two different sites. If your budget is limited, connect at one site for now, but plan for expansion later. Now, where should you peer? Of course, peering is usually local. If you look at the costs of peering, usually the circuit costs are much higher than the exchange costs themselves. If you're already present at one of our locations, and we have plenty, you should start at the nearest one. It keeps local traffic local and reduce circus costs. We have presences all over the world. Just look at the map here or locations at our website. We are of course in Germany. We have two exchanges in the US, three in Southern Europe, one in Istanbul, and we also operate an exchange in Dubai. To summarize, what do you need to get started with peering? You need an autonomous system number. If you do not know what that is, Check out our presentation on ASNs, which is available online. Just go to the DKIX Academy section of the DKIX website. You need to have a router, which is able to speak BGP and hold a routing table. 
The best approach is to talk to your hardware vendor to check if the router you currently have is capable. If not, make sure that if you do purchase a new router, that it has enough memory to hold the routing table. And of course, if you peer, you should also peer with IPv6. To get connected, as I said, select the site you want to get connected to. Place and connect your router. You can either co-locate it at one of our enabled sites, or you can do remote peering via a carrier or via one of our resellers. If in doubt, just ask us. Once you are there, the easiest way to get a kickstart in peering is to connect to our root servers. Set up sessions with our root servers. And then, for example in Frankfurt, you immediately get around 200,000 prefixes. For other sites, just ask us. The number of prefixes will increase over time as more and more customers get connected. Thank you, and thanks for listening. I am Coit Kensler with DKX Academy. Happy peering, stay safe, and bye-bye.